Hi and welcome to this uh, introduction video. We're going to show you how to install a SolarCoin wallet on a Windows computer. So all we need to do is open our web browser and go www.solarcoin.org and you see here you need to get one of these wallets but we want the Windows one which is here. We just download that, save the file it comes into our downloads area. We open the file if we just give that a moment, Windows is checking the installer. There we are, asks us if we want to install it. Say yes. And really, all these screens now, you can just go through and accept, accept the standard things. Uh, this screen, you might do want a config file, so keep that checked if you've uh, used SolarCoin before, even if it's a new installation. Leave that as standard. It's up to you if you want to desktop icon and for all users and then just make the install and that's done already and then all we need to do is run SolarCoin and it says no wallet's been found would you like to import an existing wallet uh, you can skip this if you like so if you've never in, if you've never used SolarCoin before just click on no and so the wallet's loading In just a moment that'll pop up. Okay, now it's doing something called a blockchain reload. It's downloading this bootstrap.zip file. What this is, it's a history of the entire SolarCoin uh, blockchain up until about a day ago. This is going to save you a lot of time if you leave this running. If you let this slow synchronize, it could take a day. Um, this will be done in probably 30 minutes to an hour, depending on the speed of your internet connection. So I'm just going to pause this now and we'll come back when it's at 99%. Okay, so as you can see our download is at 99% now and this is about to stop and extract the bootstrap. So this will take a, just a few seconds. And it's working away in the background. So I'm just going to pull this, this again. Okay, so the bootstrap is extracted. So now we're presented with a, a a page where we need to set a passphrase. Now, it does say down here, warning, if you lose your passphrase, you will lose all of your coins. This is very factually true. Your passphrase is your access into your solar coin wallet you'll be asked for your passphrase every single time you try and access your solar coins. So if you forget this passphrase, um, basically you will lose access and you won't be able to spend or do anything with your solar coins. But it's also important because uh, you need to set a secure passphrase, something that other people wouldn't easily be able to guess. Um, and so it's also important that you don't really store this passphrase on your computer in a plain text file. So I would encourage you to make this long something that you can remember maybe something you're you know somebody in your past a phrase that you remember that some a loved one uh, used to say to you but something that people aren't going to guess let me just enter it again say OK. And that's going to restart. So what's happening now is that's restarting. We can just close this browser window. I'm going to pause until it comes back. OK, so the SolarCoin wallet rebooted and we are now presented with that passphrase that we just set. So we need to enter it again. And as I said, you'll need to do this every single time you try and access the wallet. So as you can see, we are now presented with a, a wallet page and uh, we've got a few things that we can show. But the main thing when you start to claim your solar coins, the main thing that you'll need to do 
is go to this receive tab and get this address and if you're about to claim solar coins this is the address that is asked for in the solar coin claim process uh, the label is something that you can set yourself so uh, we can we can edit this and, and give it a new label so and what that means is every time we receive solar coins against this address we'll see it in our in our transaction history as coming in as a solar coin claim so that's all you need to do to get your address for the solar coin claim i'm going to stop the presentation now and we'll come back another time to see how we uh, do more things with the wallet thank you